Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana! Today we're finally heading through the Grand Palace, so let's go. Kill these scorpion steel things, whatever. You know, they could have had new music for this place. It's the palace theme. Or, oh well. I think. They don't bother. Let's head into this room here. We got an uh, orb up here. And each there's going to be a whole bunch of these orbs. We have to cast all of our different kinds of magic on them in order to move th forward through the palace. So let's do it. You can see a theme here. Let's get out of here. There we go. Sorry, it's been a while since we did our last video, viewers. Yeah. Just been too busy making money! Yep. Well, not with each other, but you know what I mean. Now let's just get up there. And this one... Freeze! Uh, might want to get out of this spray. Get out of there! Ah! Monster. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to kill these guys. Yeah. Losers. Oops. Hitting all those orbs does something somewhere along the line. Yeah. It's not right away. The effect isn't immediately noticeable. Okay, well, let's head upstairs then. Uh oh. Okay, get out of this. Right. Or sprite. <laughs> I'm just thinking about my cats. My, my cat Stripe made an enormous accomplishment recently. She learned how to fetch! I can't quite get her to fetch on command, but, you know. Okay, let's just whip across there. There we go. And left, then. There we go. And let's head up into this room. Okay, we usually need to use our weakest magic in order to hit these orbs, so let's try Air Blast! There we go. Alright. But yeah, I, what, I, lear I realized that she learned how to fetch when, well, I took a steak out of the freezer to thaw it out. And, well, I wanted to have it right away. I didn't want to have to wait for it to thaw out in like the normal refrigerator or whatever. So what I did was I, I just put it on the kitchen counter. Apparently, Stripe was a little hungry. So hungry that she decided to learn how to fetch food. <laughs> now, I did not realize this until she came upstairs and brought the steak to me. Like, cook this for me! Like, she. She fetched the food for me to cook it for her. That's a, that was a pretty big steak, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't believe she had the strength to bring that all the way upstairs. Slightly bigger than a mouse. My, my cats apparently like pork and chicken flavored things. Yeah, okay. Beef is okay. What do I use in this one? Lumina? Oh, you gotta use uh, Lucian Bean. I think. Well, that's the only thing you can hit an orb with. Yay. Oh. I haven't been able to teach Lenny how to fetch things yet. We'll get there eventually. Ah, there it is. Yay! We got another sword orb. Lenny sure does like chewing on things. Like my neck. <laughs> you did bring the uh, insurance in case Lenny decides to interrupt our videos recording. Yeah. Yeah, we always like to keep a little string or a ball or something to distract them so they don't bother us. I keep one in my room so he doesn't have to chew on my headphones. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not the way we want to go. Not yet. There's nothing in that room, it's empty. Yeah, a lot of these rooms we're not going to. They're just empty. Don't worry about it. Quit howling! 
This is why we don't have dogs. Stay. And that switch opened this gate here. Oh, oh. yeah, you stay. Sprite! Mr. Popo, whatever your name is. They correct this bug and stick it in an SC3. Thank goodness. I think they just go off screen then. Yeah, we don't need to head to the right there. There's nothing there. Don't worry about it. Not really. Killer swords. Yeah, we're just moving past these enemies. I don't really care to kill them. Our levels are good enough now. We don't need to really worry about it too much. Yeah. We've seen right. these guys before. That's good enough. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, we want to head left first. We gotta hit some more switches. We wouldn't have been able to get this far if we didn't hit all those uh, spell orbs earlier. Yeah, I think they make some of the uh, whip points appear and make certain stones fall. Yeah, so that's helpful. Yeah. I don't like it when they do that. The, or, is that the one? No, we want Lunar Magic. There we go. The only use of it. But yeah, I don't like it when they, uh, what is it? When they put a switch and then you have no idea what it does. Press this button. Uh, yeah, we gotta whip across there again. Oh! Uh, can you whip me across while I'm on fire? All right. Um, cure all of us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mr. Popo's kind of dying there. Maybe I should tell him to stop attacking, huh? There we go. Hey, hey, get up here. Stupid sprite. There we go. Yep, same thing on this side, except different magic. Hooray! Oh, no, it's a little different here. Well, I didn't expect to get it here this fast, but okay. It's boss time, so first things first. Yeah, fireball is good enough. Ow. Let her go! Yeah, it really is Yoshi. Same color, too. Wow. Oh, yeah, uh, cure everyone. How much HP does this guy have, anyway? Well, not that much, but enough. Ow. Wow, this guy's... He might actually kill me here. Uh-oh. Oh, well, no, it's too late. Uh, just revive me after I die. Okay. No, wait, you gotta get out of there. Okay, now... Oh, we killed him. <laughs> How did we kill him? Yeah, just revive him. Uh, I was gonna say, doesn't the boss fight revive your guys? I don't think so. I'm pretty uh, sure it did, because you're at 1 HP. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, now we can get out of here. This was the area where we started in when we found the Emperor and the, uh, oh, all that other stuff, so. Yep. Okay, well, we've got more... Bosses ahead here. Sorry. And something looks kind of odd here. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. Signing off. Have a good day.